it's sort of a, a nice analogy of looking at, okay, well, how does it work? Well, we just talked about how the receptor works and how it potentially prevents you from getting COVID or the virus from replicating. Imagine that you have three people. Mm -hmm. One has very high expression of the receptor. Mm -hmm. They produce a lot of nitric oxide. They sweep things along with mucociliary clearance. Never had tiny size. Yeah. So then, then you have the middle group, the taster group. Okay. Moderate expression. They produce some nitric oxide. They sweep some things along, but not on the same level as this group. Right. Then you have the third person who's a non-taster. They don't express the receptors. They don't produce the nitric oxide. Basically, you give them all, and this is sort of a rudimentary, you know, sort of example, but you give them all 100 viral particles. Okay, this group, they're probably going to kill off a large percentage of those, or the virus is just not going to continue on because it can't replicate because of the nitric oxide. Right. So say you give them 100, say they have five viral particles that go, that go systemic, and they get a mild infection. Middle group, you give them 100 viral particles, Say they, you know, they express it, but not on the same level. So say they kill off 50 of the viral particles. Right. So they're going to get a more severe illness. What about this group? You give them 100, they have no barrier of defense, as you talked about sort of the ancient soldiers. They right. have no one protecting their castle. You pass the moat and you're in the They castle get all 100 viral horse. particles, which is going to give them a much longer and more severe course of illness. My name is Dr. Sanjay Janeja at Dr. Pedia. If you're finding this information valuable, click here for more content.